Hey everyone, it's Mike Bond with the Cash Flow Company. Today I want to go over a live example. We get this question a lot as interest rates keep increasing. Why is it just getting harder and harder to find good properties that are cash flowing, especially on the DSCR loan? So I went through this with an investor that called in and he was just like, just run through the numbers. Show me in numerical form why it's getting harder and harder to cash flow using DSCR loans. So I think most of us understand that rates have increased and increased dramatically over the last couple of years. And what does that do to payments and payments, you know, reflecting in your cash flow? Because you're making a payment, you're getting rents. Yes, rents got up, but we're going to show exactly what's happened to the payments because of interest rates over the last couple of years. Let's just use an example. We're going to say that we have a $250,000 loan because we want to start with a base. We want to know one number just to keep it simple. That loan, a couple of years ago, you could have got an interest rate, let's just say 3.75%. So that 3.75% when you got that loan was about $1,158. So two years ago when interest rates were good, properties that had a loan, about, a loan amount of 250,000, you can expect a payment of about 11.58. So what does that look like now? And I also wanna go over what it could look like in the next year or two and why you should be buying properties now. So if you had a property two years ago, a couple of years ago, you could have expected you know, a rate 3.75, even sometimes better, and a payment of 11.58. Nowadays, looking at DSCR, you're going to look at easily rates of 9%. Depending on your LTV, yes, you get in the eights, but I've also seen rates in the 10 and 11%. So just for this example, 9% DSCR in this current environment. So what that's gonna mean is now your payments are a little over 2,000, 2,000 and $11. So you can see the big difference here and why it's hard to cash flow. Yes, this same property may have gone up from 1500 to maybe 17 or 1800 dollars in rents and some rents are starting to level off but in this case you're talking 853 dollars increase on the same loan amount just based on payment so dscr is getting harder and harder to qualify and it's because not only are the rates going up but the dscr ratios are changing so it used to be a one-to-one. -one. So your rents compared to your expenses, as long as they match, they equaled, then the cash flow was break even and you qualified. Now most DSCR letters are going to 1.1 or even a little bit higher depending on your LTVs. They have increased what you have to cash flow on a property by increasing the DSCR ratio. On the same property, like I said, we now have payment increases of $853. So you can see right now where the last two years have had an effect on rental properties. Because of the rates, your payment has gone up in that same loan amount by $853, but you still have taxes that have increased. You have insurance that has increased. So all of those pressures are making it harder to cash flow on properties. Before I said, why is this a good time to buy? And that's what I wanna go over next. And then I'm gonna do a follow-up video that's gonna show you exactly why as rates go down and your cash flow increases, why the market's gonna push up your values. So if you can find a good property right now, and I think that's the key, is finding a good property with some equity, undervalued properties, 70%, 75% max in this market, that two years ago would have appraised for that extra value, you're going to create the generational wealth and your income is gonna come back in line. So how are rates going to help you in the future Everyone predicts that rates are going to go back down in the next 12 to 18 months. No one predicts that they're going to go down to where they were, two and a half for owner-occupied, 3.75 or better for investors. But let's just say they go down to 7%, the same transaction at 7%. What's going to happen is you're going to start with a 2011 principal and interest payment. So at 7%, that payment's going to be now, if you refinance, $1,663. Now in this example, as we see, you know, in the future when interest rates drop down to 
but, and you refinance the 250 or you have a property at 250, what you're going to see is a difference just in payments, just because of the interest rate of $348. Same loan amount, just different interest rate. Now your cash flow has increased $348 because your interest rate is better and your payments are lower. But now let's take that one step farther where the optimists in this market look and go like, hey, rates are not going to go back to 25 or 3%, but they really could go back to between the 5 and 6%. So what happens if the same property you have we're happy here because we've just increased our rents $348. But what happens if they go down to 5%? If they go down to 5%, your payments are going to be now dropped to $1,342. The same property, same loan amount. If you kept it from 9% and you've dropped to 5%, you're going to see increase in rents of $669. So that's a big increase. The same property with the same rents, everything else, just because of interest rates, now cash flow is better. Right now we're on the upswing, which means we're having properties, we're finding properties that are not cash flowing. My suggestion to people out there who are still active and looking for great deals, if you can find something that has good equity in it, 25, 30%, Grab them as long as they're breaking even or close in this market. In a year, two years, as rates go back down, what you're going to find is that you could refinance, increase your cash flow without having another property. So you're going to add another $669 in rents as rates go down and your values are going to go up because the more affordable homes are, the bigger the market out there for like homes, buyers out there, they're going to start buying again and the values around you are going to go up. So buying now with good properties because they're out there, even though it doesn't cash flow. And you may look at, instead of a DSCR with a two or three year prepayment on something like this, you may look at a local bank or credit union that could give you a three or five with no prepayment and then refinance back into a third year once rates go down. All I wanted to do is show you what we're talking about with people out there because there's a lot of people who are questioning why they're not understanding like why the properties are not working right now. And interest rates are your biggest issue that's really impacting your cash flow. So as rates go down, you're going to see better cash flow. But if you buy now when values, especially in 2024 at the beginning, as values decrease, we see in more and more deals come through our doors that are in the 60, 65, and even 70% loan to value. People are fighting them. You just have to look. You have to work a little bit and find the good deals. When you find the good deals and you want to keep it, just make sure it at least breaks even or, or maybe hits that 1.1 in this market because in the future, in the next two to three years, you're going to turn that property into a great cash flowing property. So this is one of the examples we wanted to do. We're going to do another video coming up on the impact on the buyers. Why are buyers kind of flocking away? We're going to look at how in a property very similar to this that a couple of years ago, they could afford something like this, but now all they could afford is about half of that. So we're going to do another video coming up so you can understand, especially on the flip side, why it's getting harder and harder. The pool is shrinking. And then when will that pool expand again? In the meantime, if you want to do some of this yourself, check out our website. We have some great tools there, thecashflowcompany.com. And we'll catch you on the next video.